it's Katie and welcome back to my booktube channel. So today's video is going to be a little different because it has been one year since I started booktube and I wanted to make this video just a little recap for you guys and to also just talk about how much I've grown since I started and what I hope to do in the future. I thought it would be really cool to kind of just look back on things and just celebrate because I can't believe I've been doing this for a year. So I always used to love reading as a kid. There's pictures of me as like a toddler falling asleep with like books in my hands. I always loved reading. But for some reason, like throughout high school and pretty much college, I ended up stopping and I'm not really sure why or what happened, but I didn't really read too much. And then quarantine happened last year. It was May of 2020 when I got back into reading and I don't know what made me pick up a book. I think I was probably just really bored like everybody else in quarantine and I decided to pick up a book which was Carval by Stephanie Garber, which I know I've talked about so many times, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, but that's the book that got me back into reading. I loved it so much. I just kept picking up one more book and one more book and now it like grew into this channel and it made me fall in love with reading again and I'm really thankful. So I got back into reading May of 2020. I filmed my first video on my birthday, which was August 18th, 2020, and it was like super early in the morning. I was super stressed about it, and I planned like way too much, and it was super nerve-wracking, but I was really glad that I did it, and then I posted my first video September 5th, 2020 and it has now been a year which is crazy since I uploaded my first video which I think my first video was actually books I've read during quarantine and I went through all the books that I read over the last couple months and it was kind of a mess but we're not gonna talk about that um, since I uploaded that I have uploaded a hundred and ten videos and I've read almost 200 books which is insane I feel like so much has changed from just a year ago to now um, even like the type of books that I read has changed. At the beginning it was like only YA, it was very strictly YA, and now I've kind of grown into reading some more adult romances and incorporating that kind of stuff which is really great. And also when I first started out it was just like some YA romance and some fantasies and like that was it but I feel like I've really been trying to grow and read different genres and like push myself out of my comfort zone um, which I am really excited about and hopefully I continue to do that and I read more genres. I've read a couple sci-fi books which usually aren't my thing but I really enjoyed some of them and I've read some thrillers, I've read some contemporary, some graphic novels, just so many different genres. I even read some poetry. Um, I'm just really trying to expand and I hope to keep reading more from other genres. Another big thing that has changed since I got back into reading is the amount of books that I read a month. If you look at my Goodreads and you see how many books that I read all throughout 2020, I typically read about like five books a month and on a good month I read like six or seven, but like five was pretty typical for me. And then now I'm currently reading on average like 15 books a month and if I ever read like if I don't get to double digits in a month, I'm like disappointed in myself and I feel like I haven't been reading as much and I've been in a reading slump, which is crazy. I basically like doubled or tripled the amount of books that I usually read and I am just, I love it. I really do. Um, I did catch myself reading like super, super quick though to the point where I would skip like descriptive chunks which I think I've mentioned before in my videos and it was working for me because I still you know I still understood what was happening in the story but now I'm to the point where I'm trying to slow down just a little bit because I've learned that I get way more invested in books if I actually read all the words you know makes sense and that's kind of how it was intended but I'm trying to teach myself to slow down a little bit you know read all those descriptive passages and like really dive into these books that I'm reading so that I can be that much more excited about them and feel so much more. And a lot of the reason that I decided to try to slow down my reading is because recently I 
got into like this huge reading slump. I didn't really want to read. I was just super burnt out. I didn't want to read. I didn't want to film videos. I didn't want to make any content for my bookstagram or anything like that. And it was really hard because ever since I started, I've loved doing this and I have read like consistently. So to like not even want to read was really weird for me. Um, and I decided to kind of take the pressure off. I was doing like three videos a week consistently and like forcing myself to do some of those videos. And now I realized that as much as I love this, this isn't my job. And if I need a break and I need, you know, to focus on my mental health or like just do a different activity for a while and I don't want to film and I only post two videos a week or one video a week, like that's totally okay. And I think once I took that pressure off, I just got right back into loving reading again and that's mainly why I slowed down my reading and I think it's really working for me so I think in the future I will just try to be a little more flexible, take some pressure off and stick to like two to three videos a week but not really force myself if I really need a break. I feel like I'm jumping around a little bit here but also throughout this past year I've also expanded the formats that I'm like consuming books usually I would only ever read physical books and that was like all I would do but recently I've been reading a ton of ebooks especially since I got a Kindle in this last week so I've been like flying through some books on Kindle Unlimited and loving it and also I've listened to some audiobooks which I've never done before until this last year and I really enjoy them I think they're really great I've only listened to a couple um, but I definitely would like to listen to more in the future. I think they're really cool. I love that you can just listen to them while you're going about your life and, you know, you know, I can wash dishes or do whatever and listen to a book and I think that's really cool. So I really love that there's all these other formats available. On top of all those other things that changed, I feel like the main thing that really changed is my planning process because when I first started BookTube, I literally typed out word for word what I wanted to say because I was so nervous. I didn't think that I would be good at it. I'm also a very shy person. Um, I really don't talk to a lot of people. I hate public speaking and it takes me a long time to really open up to people. I do talk a lot once you get to know me, but it takes a while for me to feel comfortable enough to do that. So I was really nervous to sit down in front of a camera and talk about all my favorite books and what I thought about them. So I'd literally type out every single word and I would try to like read off of it while filming, which it was definitely awkward as you can imagine and I don't think it went very well. It worked well enough for the first couple of videos but I feel like I definitely have changed a lot since then and improved a lot. I'm more confident in myself. I'm more confident in my ability to talk about these books and it was also funny because when I would first film it would take me 5-10 minutes to even feel comfortable enough or confident enough to do my intro for my videos it would take me so long and now I sit down press record and I jump right into it so I just love how much that's changed but my planning process now is like super simple I literally just have this notebook that I write down all my ideas in and then sometimes I do like little bullet points I want to talk about other times I like don't even really plan my videos. I just have a list of books. Like for my TBR, I literally just have the list of my TBR and then I will just talk about them and say whatever I want. And it definitely works for me to take off the pressure. And I'm still like prepared because I do write things down so it makes me feel like I'm prepared, but it's not like super scary and I'm not trying to like read a script that I wrote. I've loved this last year of booktube. I'm so glad that I finally decided to make this channel because I always wanted to have a YouTube channel growing up and I didn't really know what to make it about and when I got back into reading I thought this was like the perfect thing to do especially because I loved watching booktube. It was just so great and I loved hearing people talk about different books and all those kinds of things and so I'm very excited that I get to be doing it and in the future I want to keep expanding the genres I'm reading. I want to post consistently but like take pressure off myself like I was talking about. Um, I have been thinking about maybe starting a blog. I have no idea how to do that but I think it would be really fun because I have a bookstagram and a book talk but 
I really struggled to keep up with them because of adding so many pictures and videos. Like, I'm not really good at that element, but I love reviewing books. I consistently post Goodreads reviews for every book I read, and I think it would really work for me to have a blog. So I'm kind of playing around with that idea. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure if it will really happen, but I think that would be really fun. I also really want to work on trying to read at least a little bit every day. There's some days where I don't even touch a book and other days where I read an entire book in one sitting and I want to be a little bit more consistent and just kind of at least try to read a couple chapters a day. I think that would really work and I want to kind of work that into my routine. So we'll see how that affects the amount I'm reading but I think that would be really great for me and also, I've been requesting ARCs on NetGalley, and ARCs are basically like they're advanced reader copies. So they're books that haven't been published yet that I get access to and I'm able to review them after reading them. And it's just a really cool thing. And I started doing that earlier this year, I think. And at first, I wasn't getting approved for anything, which is totally understandable. Like, this channel is not very big yet. And you know, I don't have too many people watching my reviews, but I just kept requesting and I have been getting accepted more and more and I love reviewing ARCs. I think it's so cool and I have a couple that I was actually approved for this week, so I'm really excited to read those, but I'm just really hoping to get more consistent to where I'm able to, you know, ask for more ARCs and be approved for them and really just keep reading new and exciting books that everybody is talking about and everybody wants to know about. I think that's really fun. So that's something else I'm really going to try to do and hopefully that's exciting for you guys too. I don't know. I just really like booktube and talking about books and the main thing I really want is I want to try to connect with more of you guys. I feel like I've had this channel for a year and it's really small so I don't really get to meet a lot of people in the book community so I think over this next year or these next few years however long I am doing this for I really want to try to connect with more people and talk to people about our love for reading and all of that so I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos over this last year and I hope you guys enjoyed this little update and celebration video it was really fun to just sit here and talk to you guys and if you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, click the notification bell so you know when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video.